Hello and welcome to the Clinical Liver Disease video series. CLD is an official digital learning uh, publication of the ASLD. I'm Thomas Cotter, Assistant Professor of Internal Medicine at University of Texas at Western in Dallas, Texas, and Social Media Associate Editor for the CLD. I'm here with Dr. Shang Chin Wang from National Ta Taiwan University Hospital and National Taiwan University College of Medicine in Taiwan and the author of Impact of Metabolic Disorders on Chronic Hepatitis B Infection, publishing in an upcoming issue of CLD. Dr. Wong, thank you for joining us and thank you for your team and your own efforts in writing this review article. Thank you. Thank you very much. So um, I just have a few questions uh, that I think will be good for the uh, audience to hear and the readers to hear to help understand your article better. Uh, so the qu first question, what are the primary distinctions between the chronic hepatitis B population and the general population concerning the influence of metabolic disorders on them? Yes, thank you for the important questions. Metabolic disorders are the known risk factors for multiple cancers and cardiovascular disease in the general population. However, compared with the general population, Chronic hepatitis B patients have higher risk of labor-related events, such as cirrhosis and HCC. So regarding the impact of metabolic disorders on chronic hepatitis B, we need to pay more attention to labor-related outcomes because this issue may help optimize our surveillance and treatment strategies for chronic hepatitis B. Okay, very. And a follow-up question, what, what is the precise impact of hepatic steatosis on liver-related outcomes in the chronic hepatitis B population? Yes, steatotic liver disease is a known risk factor for HCC in the general population. However, in the chronic hepatitis B population, some paradoxical results have been found. In some cohort studies and a recent meta-analysis, Hepatitis cytosis was associated with lower viral activity and facilitate hepatitis B surface antigen seroclearance and seroconversion. Moreover, hepatitis cytosis was found to decrease HCC risk in some studies. Taken together, hepatitis cytosis may suppress HBV viral activity, facilitate surface antigen loss, and decrease HCC risk in chronic hepatitis B. However, several different studies also show conflicting results. In these studies, chronic hepatitis B patients with hepatitis cytosis had higher risk of HCC. The discrepancy between studies may be caused by the variable burden of metabolic dysfunctions. The systemic metabolic dysfunctions such as DM obesity will increase the risk of HCC and cirrhosis. The higher the burden, the higher the risk. In other words, hepatitis cytosis and other systemic metabolic dysfunctions have different effects on chronic hepatitis B. As a result, in the evaluation of the impacts on chronic hepatitis B, we need to separate hepatitis cytosis and other metabolic dysfunctions because they have different effects on chronic hepatitis B. Cytosis so may be protective and suppressive, but the other metabolic dysfunctions are risk factors. Okay, and then a uh, final question, what are the unmet needs that you think are in this field? An important many is the exact mechanisms underlying the suppressive effects of hepatitis cytosis. In recent two years, some cellular studies suggest that hepatitis cytosis may inhibit HBV secretion and replication in the hepatocytes, but the detailed mechanisms remain unknown. Further investigation may help understand the HBV virology and provide potential therapeutic car targets against the HBV. Okay, very good. So Dr. Wong, that was extremely interesting. Thank you again for joining us for another installment in the Clinical Liver Disease video series. And thank you to the audience for joining us. 
On behalf of all of us on the CLD team, I hope you found this interview with the author useful. For more information about this article and for much more, uh, many more uh, great educational articles, please visit us on www.cldlearning.com. Thanks again for watching.